everyone's doing well this evening. <clears throat> Just got home, settling in, trying to get stuff going here. Um, I'll start with Shaw. Not sure what's going on tonight. Not sure at all. Looks like Easy Key's the wrong size. It's odd. I don't know why that happened. Everything else is good ish. Alright, so we're in. Uh, let's see if there's any LFMs up. And there are not. Come on, Thelanus. If anybody wants to join in, that's where I am. Uh, let's see. I'm going to be playing something non standard. Let's see. What do I want to play today? We'll have this monk, I think. We'll go for the uh, War Forged Monk. That's sufficiently different. There we go. Um, haven't played this in a while. Gotta remember what I'm doing. Power attack. The mask. Okay, let's see what the LFMs are like for this. Oh, I've been happy to do a diplomatic community, but it's expired. And I haven't done it yet. Just for giggles. Actually, I probably need to make sure I've got cargo buffs if they're still active, which they are. They're probably going to expire. We had to redo them on Sunday. We did Tower of Despair. I failed it twice and finally succeeded with some non guild help. It was pretty ugly until uh, that happened. Uh, we were not doing well. Not doing well at all. Oh, I'm the wrong spot, aren't I? Uh, do, 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 do. Oh. I forgot that's the one in the 12. Probably be done by the time I get there, but they're still in there, so. We shall see. I think I vaguely remember how to get there from here. At least I hope so.
Is tomorrow balance change day? Or are you talking about Back to the Future Day? I've had a guy posting that countdown for like a month now. So I've known it was coming. Oh, I have some cheap toilet paper here I can throw. Yeah, evidently he was excited. Oh, that's right, this is a dark monk. I don't remember how to play this. Well, we'll find out how it goes. Yay, completed already. I got catcher's wit. Hey, I got catcher's wit. Hey, I got catcher's wit. <laughs> That's hilarious. I got three copies of catcher's wit. like we're going to continue on the uh, chain here, which is perfectly fine by me. Ah, uh, yes, framework. The framework's fun. So we got a new rat. The SPA, SPCA on Sunday. Still haven't integrated him with our other male rat yet, but uh, we've got him. And yeah, so just texted me earlier saying that we might get two baby rats shortly. Both males. So 
So we'll be up to six rats, two females and four males. So far, I like the new rat's attitude. He's fairly cuddly. Although he has gotten some energy and gotten up and around a bit here and there. He and our older male rat uh, haven't quite figured out the dominance thing yet, which is annoying because we'd like to have them in the same cage, but not yet. Are we doing this? Yeah, that's what I thought. This works well. <sighs> ah. Yeah, still haven't uh, gotten rid of the bearded dragon yet, as you can see, because he's on dragon cam. We still want to concentrate on the other pets and get rid of him. The only ticker we've had so far it was, I think, in Colorado. And we just don't want to traumatize him by sending him through the mail. So, we haven't done that. And we still have the cats and the dog as well. So I think we're going to end up with mostly rats. We're not going to probably replace the cats as they uh, grow old. And I'm not sure about the dog at the moment. We're going to keep him. Once he gets old, we're not sure what we're going to do about that. He bumped me off. Bear. This is so odd. I'm used to be able to heal myself. Seriously? It's up on top of this stupid thing. Cleric, you all want to heal? Remember when Cleric Harlings used to heal you? Wasn't that awesome? Yeah, he. we walked in and I looked at under the little hut in the cage. Like, oh, that's a guinea pig. Hey, DWP. How's it going? Like, that's a guinea pig. There's no way that's a rat. It's too big. Sure enough, it was a rat. Big old boy. So, decided his name was Bear because of his size.
not too bad here. And she got some work done yesterday and today. Actually, more yesterday. Yesterday was much less frustrating than today, but got some work done today, too. Unfortunately, the uh, my display port to HDMI adapter and cable stuff isn't going to be in until Thursday, which is the day I work from home, which is when I need it. So sometime after I've started working, it will arrive. Want to get the dual monitor action going. And the new the work computer that they gave me has a display ports to HDMI. So, yeah. You jerk, come here. Ready. So I had to find myself an adapter, which I did. So in the future, I will be able to do that. Yeah, probably. Because that would figure. I really need to take the looting off of this window. Oh, there it is. Much better. We. That should be quick. I mean, all I gotta do is jam the adapter in there and put my existing HDMI cable in there and should be ready to go. I got dual monitor action. It's actually handy when I'm testing, so I record test cases and refer the documentation while I'm doing it. And it's nice to have the second monitor to have all the documentation up while I'm recording and all that. Oh, hello. I ordered from Monoprice because, as usual, Monoprice has the best prices. Evidently, Amazon should outsource their delivery to Jimmy John's. Isn't that the fastest? According to their marketing. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be in somewhat serious trouble here shortly. Because the cleric's way over here. Ooh, bannable. It's always nice to have somebody to ban. Uh, let's see. Leashed. I uh, ordered some Yubi keys, and they said like the next day they shipped them. And according to their information, all they've received is the initial scan to say you have a package coming. And it's been two weeks now. Which 
I was annoyed by because I was trying to get want to get my passwords and stuff switched over to using that for extra security and uh, still waiting can't do it until I get the devices Wanted to go ahead and set those off before anybody got hurt. What else have I heard recently? Ordered something off Etsy. It came pretty quick. There we go. Should be fine now. Those really aren't too bad if you can get them separated and take on one at a time. Well, come on. All right. He's not coming. That sucks. Yeah, I stopped renting my cable modem from my provider and bought one, and uh, it's been holding up pretty well. Because usually when you go, they just give you whatever crap when they have lying around from the drawer. It's not necessarily the fastest. We got one of the Motorola SB141s. That's supposed to be the best one. And it's worked pretty well. XP's Legendary victory, I'll take that Nice. Yeah, that's a big upgrade.
Nice. Yeah. I tried to watch Twitch a little bit from work when I had a break. And the signal was just horrible. Hardly get any signal. So it loads fine for a little bit and then just buffers like crazy. So it's not really watchable or listenable even. Which is why I think I'm going to go buy myself an iPod. Because at work, they are really, really strict about the stuff you do. They don't want you downloading or streaming any music on the work computers. So, hey, Queen, how's it going? I'm doing well this evening. So I'm probably going to have to go get an iPod. I borrowed the SS iPod today, and it was much nicer just to have music instantly. I don't have to worry about horrible signal streaming or the content blocker. Any of that stuff. So... That's what I'll probably do. Thank you for that, Lafray. What's that one? I don't even know what that one is. I don't know the dark finishers at all. I'm playing my light monks so much that I hardly ever play this. Shoot the fire control lever down. So you don't have to worry about the dual hits. It's really deadly in here if you don't do that. And you get hit by both the... Uh, things and what's not. The things and the what's names. Um, I need to map stone flesh self self so above this right here I haven't seen anybody that's flesh to stone yet ah oh, there we go wait 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 yeah, I really don't mind this chain. It's not horrible. It's got some interesting stuff to it. Not my favorite, but it's not bad. Wait for your recharges. Ten, 
takes forever. More people, it goes much faster. Solo, it's a real pain to get the optional for all the guards. Let's go this way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really care for the cooldown. It doesn't make that much sense. But whatever. That's what we got. This way, okay, we'll go this way. Oh, there's a champion. How about that? He's dead. Still no joy, huh? Okay. Just do it the old fashioned way. He's got that one. to the next one. Okay, champion just How have we now? What's blocking us from taking that portal then? Oh, I get to speak with the dude. That's bird. Where is that one? I always lose York. Alas, poor York. I didn't know him very well.
I got them all. Shrine in. Oh. This is pretty relaxing. Oh. So I understand people being comfortable at a certain level of technology and all that. I understand that, you know, different places do things differently and have their processes and procedures and all that, but I tend to get incredibly frustrated when people uh, ignore simple things, simple efficiencies, let's say, in the way technology is used. Just little things like, you know, cell references in Excel. You don't have to copy and paste values. You can just use a cell reference. It's the same effect, only a lot easier to maintain, especially if you have a lot of stuff you're doing. But uh, no, I was explicitly told not to do that today. Okay. Don't really understand why, because it's part of Excel. Ah. I was hoping it wouldn't step to do that, but yeah, there's a couple other things that have been like that. And, you know, I know Excel. I won't say I'm an expert, but I'm proficient in Excel. My last position, I use Excel a lot. I used to teach Excel classes. I've worked a lot in Excel. A couple years of doing reports in Excel and such, you know, I, I know it. I know what to do, I know what's not to do. And, uh, yeah. So. I think some people uh, who are nearing retirement are just resistant to change. I understand that to some degree, but I'm making things quicker and easier about something you're complaining it takes too long as it is. A couple of things make it look nicer, make it easier to maintain and update, and you told me not to do it. Okay. But that's okay. Things happen. Most people will be retiring, and I'll be running the show and do it my own way. But it's like it's a basic feature of Excel is you can use a cell reference and get the value from it. Oh no no no! You have to have the values. You can't use a cell reference. Why? Well, in case, blah, 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 the data is still there. I'm not messing with the data. It's still there. The only thing that's different is that you save yourself a couple steps every time you do this. But whatever. Why don't we just use a piece of paper and write the stuff down by hand? I mean, if we're not going to use the features of the freaking tool we're using, let's just do that. You want to do the extra stuff? You can do the extra stuff. I'm cool with that. Yeah. 
I was just sitting there thinking, this is why you need me instead of a couple guys that are about to retire because they just don't want to change and they're perfectly fine with things, things being inefficient. Oh no, we can't do any more work. We're uh, resource constrained. Right. I'm sitting around trying to find new training things to take so that I'm not bored out of my skull. I don't even mind that dude showed me around to uh, some of the application people. And I didn't even really mind that much that uh, he took credit for the, all the tests that we've been doing the past couple days, which I have been doing them all. Under his guidance, but I'm the one doing most of the scripting. I'm, I've done all the running. I've been doing most of the results. He showed me how they want to do when it done, but I've been doing the work. I didn't even mind that very much. Yep. I do not have Excel on my home computers. I refuse. I use Excel way much at work. I don't need it at home as well. But yeah, I mean, I was cool with that. I got to meet the app people that I'm going to be working directly with as of the next release. So as soon as he turns me loose, I'll be able to do things my way. I don't mind that one so much because he was, you know, he wasn't being He wasn't saying that. They were just assuming and he wasn't correcting them. Let's put it that way. I've had people before that actually took the credit completely and left me completely off of it. And they're the ones who said, that, oh yeah, I did that. That's what gets me. People assuming that I'm still transitioning and all that, and, you know, whatever. I'm cool. I mean, sure, he's taking the credit, but he's not actively promoting it. It's a big difference in my mind. People are just assuming since I'm the new person he's showing around that I haven't taken over yet. You know, that's cool. I plan on actually attending their meetings in person once in a while, instead of always being on the phone, even though they're the only two floors above us. Like, they sit almost exactly two floors above where my cube is. It's not a big deal to go up there and be in person for their meeting. Once in a while, at least. At least while we're testing, maybe. But, you know, that's cool. I'll do things my way. I'll be responsible for it. He's still responsible for it because he hasn't fully transitioned it to me. You know, things like that. I'm cool. It doesn't bother me too much. A little bit, you know. It always got to bother you a little bit, but it's not worth worrying about in the long run. And next time I'll be doing it all, so whatever. We're cool. Uh, nah, I don't see anything good there. I should have checked doses. I forget I'm wearing a dose. I don't know if we can get better life shield and vulnerability, though. Actually, I want to pop out to the 12 real quick. They're going to dinner. I might as well go back to the ship then. Hmm. I don't know. I really feel like doing Whiz King.
And I've got, let's see, my coworkers working from home tomorrow. I have probably nothing to actually do for work. So I'll probably be doing a lot of training in the morning and then I have a three hour training session in the afternoon, which should be fascinating. It's on how to use your equipment, meaning laptop and phone and stuff, which I've been do doing since I got there and how to remote in, which I've already done. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't know if I have a rock splitter on hand. That's ridiculous, skunk. That is ridiculous. Cardio, I want to. Three cutters with the dropped in the same quest. That's ridiculous. Why am I not wearing that? Yeah, I'm paying too much for the little that I have, but I do use it quite a bit, so. I've got deadly six there. So I don't need deadly six there. that. Where's Cobalt Assault now? That's... Over here now? That was Archer Point. Hey, Cobalt Salt. I thought they were already in there. Glade Watch Outpost, Cobalt Salt. I'm confused. That's the one I thought it was. Is it? What am I doing? Cobalt assault. Oh, that's the harbor one. That's what I got confused. Nice skunk. Uh, Cobalt salt. Out here. Oh, that's the low level one. Oh, well. I'll still do it since I'm here and need the favor anyway. It's on normal. Are you serious?
You have the SO's grandparent lives in Google Fiberland. I love it all these treasure bags lying around, it's hilarious. Stock up on treasure. I don't want to put my shadow fade on so I don't take as much damage. So yeah, they're getting whatever the deal that Google Fiber has where you pay whatever it is for the first year and then it's free for the next six or whatever. It's some deal like that where they have to pay up front and then they get it for free after that. I think it's 100 up, 100 down. Which I would, would be a huge upgrade from what I have now. So much better for streaming. I'm still debating on whether to go desktop or laptop. I still can't decide. I'm probably going to end up with both. I think I'm going to get the SO Chromebook for the holidays. I don't even keep track of what stuff drops and what I have and what to use for crafting. I just tend to, if it's I see it and it's doable, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Otherwise, I don't really care. I haven't used most of the stuff that I have already. I was going to order uh, TV mounts from a uh, thing. Yeah, so I was about to say, I ordered, I was going to order some TV mounts from Mono Price, but shipping was ridiculous. Like $20 for the mount and $40 for the shipping. Oh, okay. So I figure I'll do those later. What I'm trying to figure out is the complete media layout for the house, basically. So I've got an office upstairs. I'm in the media room right now. The media room has a coffee table with two laptops on it. it has a 60-inch TV and a 42-inch TV. And two PS3s, two Xbox 360s, one PS4, and one Wii. And an Ouya. And is there anything else around here? Mm. I think that covers most of it. So, I play DDO on, oh, two of them in a row. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So all that's so that the SO and I can both game and spend time with each other while we're doing our own thing, basically. So we can be on the couch together or um, different parts of the couch, whatever, and uh, still do our stuff and still spend time together and all that. So we have a setup like that. So what I'm wanting to do is move the 60-inch TV over to the 42-inch spot get a new 60, 70 inch TV, something like that. I want one with the, uh, I can never remember what it's called. Basically the wireless screen sharing thing. Some link or something is the name of it. Anyway, because I have an HDMI cable that goes across the floor and then the dog and the cats and everybody trip over it and possibly knock the laptops off. Um, 
so yeah, I don't like doing that very often. Plus, especially when the, if there's a people over, it's a pain. So I want the wireless screen sharing thing so I can go directly from laptop to the big screen. And that's what I want for that. The SO doesn't use that, so I use the current TV that doesn't have that over to that side. And then I want to mount both the TVs on the wall and get shelves that go on the wall to put the stuff on so that we have a lot less stuff on the floor for cats and rats and dogs to get into, basically. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of that because that was kind of pointless. Yeah, I don't get the type. I mean, we obviously we might share links or photos or something. Um, with each other, but we don't usually actually text or something like that. I don't want any of this junk. Uh, why do you make pick up this junk? Uh, let's see, where was I? Let's get rid of that. Sell the gem, sorry. I don't think I got damaged. She was rhymes on the thing. All right. Let me stop a minute so I can concentrate on what I'm saying. So the old laptop, let's start over. I'm on the newest laptop, which is the one I play, play DDO on and stream from. Wirelessly, it all works fine. The old laptop's been having some problems. Not sure, maybe a video card going out, or maybe overheating or something, we're not sure. But she, this SO plays DDO on that, and it's not a good experience. The textures are all the way down low, and it still stutters and stuff sometimes. You know, eh. Not the best thing. Um, so they're getting frustrated at that. Plus, I've got everything set the way I want it, and I let them use one browser, and I've got other things configured and all this stuff, and they just kind of want a system of their own. Understandable. But all they're going to be doing is basically looking at rat forums and such. So just browsing and email. And why not just get a Chromebook, cheaper, more portable? They can sit in their spot on the couch and do that whenever they want. Nice, light, portable, and all that. So probably going to do that. Um, according to Wirecutter, the Toshiba one is the best right now. So probably going to pick one of those up, up around the holidays for the SO. So I'll solve that problem. Um, the old laptop, probably going to get rid of it and get a new one. And then I want to get a desktop, mainly because it's the storage. I can put, you know, four or four terabyte drives in a desktop and have storage for years, right? Um, I've got a bunch of external one terabyte drives for the laptops, and it's just a pain. To, okay, which one is it? Uh, I think it's this one. Oh, not that one. It's the other one. And laptops are out of USB ports because we have so much stuff plugged into them. And yeah, you know. So I think I want a desktop as well. And I still want to get a triple monitor set up and play DDO on that because I still want that's just I've been wanting to do that for a long time but mostly the storage and horsepower share horsepower for stuff plus I can wire it into the switch that way and have uh, things going on with that so then the SO's side of the room that that 42 inch TV I want to put up in the room we have the girl rats in right now and put something like a Nvidia Shield or a Steam box or something up there where we can play games, connect to other things and play from there, watch um, Netflix and whatever from there um, while we're playing with the rats and stuff. We have stuff on this background or play when um, the rats are being kind of antisocial and not playing 
with us. Um, we still have something to do up there. And then in the guest, other guest room, because that's sort of a backup guest room in, in the rat room at the moment. Yeah, I know. I always reimage a machine as soon as I get it. It's the first thing I do is blow everything away, reinstall the OS from scratch, and uh, do my own stuff because they always come with junk. Of course, this is a Chromebook, so it shouldn't come with anything but Chrome, right? And um, anyway, and then the guest room, I'm, I want to get another TV, smaller TV, like a 40 inch or something for that room, and then like a Roku 3 so that guests can watch Netflix or whatever else in the room. Because I know uh, the SO's grandparent in particular likes to wind down with TV when, as they're going to bed. But the key to that is that it's next to the master bedroom. And I want to have a Roku 3 because it has a headset jack in the remote, which is really nice. Um, Yeah, I'm not going to go as far as I've seen other people actually have um, their house fully wired so that they can start something on a device and it plays on like channel two on the, all the TVs in the house, stuff like that. I'm not going to go that hardcore, but I do want to go and we're keeping everything out of our bedroom. There will be no TVs in our bedroom. We don't bring the computers in our bedroom. We bring our phones, tablets, Vitas, Nooks, those things can come in, but not a dedicated TV or anything. That That's not uh, part of the plan. Yeah, it's really cool that it has that feature. So it's easy for a guest to just you know plug head headphones in and then they don't bother us on the other side of that wall because the TV will be on the wall that our, the head of our bed is also on. And I'm a very light sleeper. So, yeah. Don't want that. And I know we have relatives coming in for the holidays. So, anyway, I want that, ha have that set up that way. Um, and then down here, hopefully that wireless screen sharing link thing will work. If not, I could get it like a Steam box for here. Something like that. Or I can put together home theater PC, either one. Almost the same thing. And uh, get that going. Yeah, desktops. I mean, the laptop GPU I have in the new laptop is pretty good. The model I'm looking at is even better. But the ones I'm looking for desktop are way higher. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, yes, we did get a new rat. Um, bear. We got him with the SPCA, $5. Very reasonable price for uh, pet rats. Evidently, they, for some reason, somebody took his cage mage the same day and didn't take him. We're not, we have no idea why, except that he's he sways from side to side, so we think he has vision or balance problems. But other than that, he's really sweet, as far as we can tell. Uh, yeah, our rats, our rats, um, except for the first one, which we got from somebody else with the name already, our rats are, or Wolf was one of our rats, and then we have, currently have Monkey, Bunny, and Duck, and then Bear. So. Yeah. I don't like having a computer in my bedroom. I don't like blinky lights. Das blinking lights, verboten. Don't like the blinking lights going on, and I don't like the uh, fan noise all the time. Those are my reasons for not wanting a computer in my bedroom. Where there's smoke, he is doing some really low stuff on normal. I almost feel bad. It's like, shouldn't you just ask for help and I'd help you on Elite? But I don't want to do that stuff on normal. I've got favor to get, I'm sure. Cobalt stuff, tunes. See, I have a desktop, it's on all the time. My laptop's actually shut down. 
most nights, unless I'm uploading like streams and stuff. Electrical tape is a godsend. Like our, our fan we have in the bedroom. I don't know what possesses manufacturers to put the absolute brightest LEDs they can find everywhere in everything. But it's not good for a bedroom that, or a fan that you have in your bedroom. So I put electrical tape over them. And I didn't fully cover them, so you can still see some light, but it's covered enough that it's not blinding. I'm so bothersome. Yep. I figure I'm going to have my desktop on most of the time because that way it lacks a server for files. And I can actually set up uh, media streaming and actually get all my music on a drive and videos on a drive and all that stuff. And it'll just be, make life a lot easier, I think, if I do that that way. And I'll have, you know, one drive that is the music drive. That's all it's going to go there, just the music. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a case with the window and everything. Back when I had desktops. Just haven't uh, felt the need. Okay, what else is going on today? Something else going on that we can do? There's really nothing in the level range that I have. Uh, I don't really want to do depths. Snitch. So oh, let's just do some favor running then. What do, what do I have that's doable? I don't have the saves for that, do I? Not really. Could probably do red this pretty easily. Go house J and do that. Let's go back and get the uh, buffs too. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out the order of getting everything and all that. And then both my tablets are really slow. I just factory reset both of them. And one of them, it lost my stupid Fallout Shelter save. So I'm not playing Fallout Shelter anymore. That was really annoying. I spent all that time and some money in that game. and Oh yeah, you lost everything. Sorry. Great, thanks. So I'm thinking about getting a new tablet, but I was going to get an NVIDIA Shield tablet, and evidently they had an overheating problem from one of their manufacturers and stopped selling them. So they're out of stock at ridiculous prices everywhere. So that's a big bummer. I'm kind of contemplating maybe getting a uh, iPad mini, but... Uh, It wasn't bad. I used to play it just for a couple minutes before bed and, you know, on the toilet and that sort of stuff. Just, it's a great little game for just here and there. I didn't spend too much time on it, but they had a sale on the uh, Mr. Handy, so I went ahead and got that to test them out. They were somewhat useful. Yeah, I... Seeing as how I haven't finished Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas or Oblivion, meh. I just can't bring myself to get that excited about Fallout 4. I'm sure it'll be awesome, and I'm sure I probably won't play it much, if at all. So,
That's that one. That's, is that the same game as the Simpsons one and all that? I know they put out the same game with different skins, basically. I played the Simpsons one, I think, for a while. Just to see how it was. Didn't really care for it. It was fun to mess around with for a little bit. But didn't really care for it. Long term. Normally I play something like uh, Android, Android Dominion or... One of the board games or card games that I have, something like that. But... Oh, cool. Another bannable person. Isn't that awesome? This was actually somewhat coherent. I gotta figure someone's been tuning their bots, and that's why we've been getting the different stuff lately. Oh, you got it. If you look at how they did the last couple weeks of how the bots have evolved, they started with just gibberish, and they started putting real words in amongst the gibberish, and they started putting URLs amongst the gibberish. It just feels like somebody testing out their new bot system. And now we had somebody that actually was like the old style bots, with there was actual text and stuff involved. Some readable text. way through this quest. Do I have any healing whatsoever, by the way? Oh, I've got canes. That's not what I consider optimal healing. But it'll do. From a technical standpoint, it's kind of amusing. They're still evil, vile, nasty, and should be uh, destroyed with extreme prejudice, but from a technical standpoint, it's interesting. Because basically that's what my job is, to, to make things like that. Not spammy bots, but scripts that replicate what users do on websites. You know what? I'm just gonna fry these guys. See if that works at all. Yay, fried. Oh, hey, life shield. That helps handy. Hmm. I am stuck and can't move. I'm getting deaded. Luckily, there's a bunch more scorpions, which are really nice because they uh, disappear briefly. And when they disappear, they don't do you damage. Time to concentrate on the big dude. Alright, what else do I have? other things to do. All right. Looks like I haven't been here. Titan was here earlier. He went off for some reason. Probably maybe should have uh, caned there. Now that I think about it, that might have been a good idea to cane. Hmm. 
Nope. Yep, I should have caned. Oh, nice. Siege breaker. That figures, doesn't it? I'm off here doing something stupid. Somebody's actually running something I want to run. Which one? Siege breaker? Siege breaker? The last one? I, when I flagged for that. Excuse me. Whew. Siege breaker. Uh, I should have gone twelve. Wasn't thinking about it. So I actually died. That's why I don't have enough key for it. That's undermine. Uh, I'm not flagged for siege breaker. All right, see you, DAP. Oh, I could have checked my mail. Oh, hey, I have enhancements. How about that? Let's do that. I have no idea what I was doing with this character. Siege breaker, yeah. Oh, that's right, you talked to the caravan thing. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's not active. Oh, there he goes. It's long gone, yeah. I thought most of those you went to the NPC. I forgot that when you actually come back out and go to the caravan. Shows you how much I run this quest. Not at all. Actually, once in a while.
Awesome. I'm, what, 24, I think? So you're right up in there. Well, Skunk's 28, so... Unless he's figured out his new build and changed it already. I really should do a homeless of body before I do this. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Drop down and die instantly. That'd be great. Oh, I've been doing the wrong... I thought that was... Oh, uh, okay. Flashbang's on one. I thought it was flashbang was on nine. No wonder that wasn't working right. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like an idea. I'm really not concerned with what we do. Exactly, so whatever you have available will work. Nice thing if I lose VIP is that I've already bought most of the packs, so be able to do most things. What do you want, dog? That's cool. Be too long of a break then. Yeah, everything except the brand newest stuff, last couple things, and of course, yeah, Warlock, I'd have to buy if I want out of VIP. But if they keep the 15 month deal going, then I might just stay VIP till the end. in Kobo Woods next. Somebody has a D-door. I actually unlocked Harper via favor, so I should be okay on that. Oh, I can't turn it in even though I've got it. Or even though I completed it, that's fine. Yeah, that would suck if you're kind of counting on it. There it is. I knew it was out here somewhere. Yeah, it sucks when the main part of your build is what you can't have.
That's cool. Well, somebody's a warlock. Yeah, that's cool. It's nice not to have to rely on those. <laughs> but they're being nerfed. No one's going to play Warlocks anymore because they're going to be nerfed. Why do I never hit with that flashbang? I don't understand. I really don't. Shouldn't be that default. Yeah, I, I don't either. It's a small enough adjustment. I get Skunk's whole build was, you know, the Paladin and the Warlock combination together, which I'm still going to try out that uh, Blade Lock build, but that's not the same build as he was Skunk was using anyway. while we're here already. How lovely. Um, let me go ahead and hold somebody right here. Necessarily agree that they were that overperforming in the first place. I just know I've been having a lot of fun playing, and that's more important to me anyway. So the nerf really isn't going to affect me because I don't really care as long as I can play. Let's still have fun the details of percentages and stuff aren't going to change my mind.
This is understand. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to play the min max builds. There's just a certain point at which a build is effective enough to be fun to play and not frustrating. I want to be on that side of things. Like this build solo isn't great. I get frustrated when I try to solo with this, unless it's really under level. Even then, you saw earlier, I took a necessary risk and got killed, but. That was just taking unnecessary risk. I could have prevented that. Most of my builds are underperforming like that, and they're on the wrong side of that line of being good enough to play and have fun with. They're just not quite there. Shaw is now only because of all the epic past lives and gear that I have now. The build as a base just isn't that great. I don't mind if I'm in a party, but if I'm solo, then I want to be able to solo, not just die. I guess I'll cane myself. Yeah, I don't mind, you know, builds that have something like, hey, if I had an all reflex save build, or my reflex saves was 120 or whatever the max is, then that, you know, that'd be fun just because that's the build it is, but most of them I just muddle through and I created a lot of them when I first started playing, didn't really get into optimizing at all. So they're pretty poor in general. And unfortunately, since my guild is so small and mostly European, I just don't play with guild very much, unless it's one of our static group nights. In which it's fun, but there's not a whole lot of people to play in other times. going to move. But that's one of the reasons why I'm playing on Kanath and why I create a character in every server. So that if I feel like playing on another server, I can just go and do it. Character's already there. All I got to do is drop in and start playing. We killed a level 30 dragon and always got his 2.5k. That's ridiculous. Should be getting a little a lot more than that.
Gotta see what's next. Archon pack if staying. Okay. And I will go repair and sell real quick. And go do the Archon pack. This is what I want to do. I want to get on a TR train with these lower level characters and get them up to where I have the option of TRing them or at least going into epics and getting some epic stuff going. Not being trapped in these levels that I really don't like playing. Didn't even see him before he was gone. Oh, let's just go Hollow Heroes. Oh, it was this one. It was that one. Hey, shoot, how's it going? Oh, we had. How oh, long was that? Sunday night? Yeah, Sunday night. We uh, had some homemade egg rolls that were. Whoa, hello. Getting hit hardcore by something. At the SO's boss made and had some people over and they all made egg rolls in the, their style and all that whatever so we had a bunch of them that were in, frozen we were thinking it was time to eat because we just didn't get around to cooking them that's the problem with um, homemade stuff like that that's why we eat out a lot because we don't do well with keeping stuff and actually cooking it and stuff so yeah uh, we ate the rest of them and there were something like 10 vegetable egg rolls and 30 meat egg rolls they're tiny ones they weren't they're more like spring those tiny spring roll size but they were egg rolls and both of us got kind of sick from all the grease and stuff because we had so much, but they were really good. I really enjoyed them. Oh. 
do, do, do. Yeah. They were so good, though. Oh, man. At least they weren't Mings, but they were good. Oh, I still need those vampire cam wraps. Yeah, we're talking about maybe flying up there one weekend just to get egg rolls. Up and back the same day. <laughs> just stopping in to get wings. Uh, if we could find cheap enough flights, we'd do it. Too far to drive and up and back in a day. Night for dinner, I had waffles and cereal. I'm gonna have to have something else after I get done streaming. It wasn't quite enough to fill me up. Homeless somebody. Get healed up a bit. Down the Sitarge. Ouch, 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 ouch. Those remnants float in the air. How about that? Maybe one more. Eesh. Light damage. The stupid webs.
Oh, I did try those uh, pumpkin spice Oreos, and they're pretty good. They are pretty good, must say. Yeah, they were pretty good. Um, the key lime, they're still my favorite, and usually, of course, mint. But uh, they'll do. I still like the pumpkin spice yogurt covered pretzels the best, I think, as far as pumpkin spice goes. Kigo. Oot. Now there's oh hey, I got light on ending. That's cool. Yeah, I may go get some Oreos. Got Jits Tekas. Demon Assault. Maybe some cookies will do. Probably want something more substantial, but probably should start with cookies. My reason being that it's getting late. I'm going to go to bed soon. So the earlier I have the cookies, the better it will be for me. That way I won't be having cookies right before bedtime. Hey, Iron Hands, how's it going?
Yes, bring on the fire reavers. I've got cold attacks. Much prefer the fire reavers over the uh, ice flinzers. Yeah, that's what they are, ice flinzers. No cookie sounds like an emergency. Of course, we have Halloween candy. We've got cookies. Yeah. Some of my favorite cookies are the ones where you take a, a spice cake and you make the cookies out of the spice cake mix. Those are really good. Someone there, I hit Shadow Veil and didn't trigger. There we go. Oh, he's over here, guys. Never mind, I got him. Or somebody got him, if not me. I'm so used to playing my Light Monk, I'm hitting the keys for my Light Monk, not the keys for this Dark Monk. Somebody got res, okay. It's like I, I can take you back to the shrine. some damage. Oh, seriously. There's a shrine back here somewhere. Am I on the wrong side? Excuse me. <sighs> this is where I don't enjoy this. Like I said, this character, not so good with the soloing. Not so good at all with the soloing. I hope you're imagining things. I said, oh man. Oh man. Okay. 
Okay, this is getting annoying. Every time I've been here in a warlock, I've rocked it. This quest is just not that hard on a warlock. At least somewhat properly built warlock. Like I said, this build is just not anything. That's why I want to get up and out of this build as soon as possible. Well, now it feels so bad because somebody else just died twice real quickly to the blades, probably. So it's not just me. If that has happened to... Oh my gosh! Seriously, you stupid... There's the shrine. Get myself back up myself. I still can't heal myself with that. I gotta go this. This is where I start getting frustrated. Nothing to do with the quest or difficulty in particular. It's just that this build's a little fragile. And I know that and it just frustrates me. I don't feel like I should be this fragile. Yeah, I might do that. Depends upon if I can stay awake that late. <laughs> That's my bedtime anymore. I'll be running with the guild before then. Yeah, see, my evasion should be higher. My evasion is only 25. Or reflex is only 25. So, yeah. I should have the reflex to not worry about that. But I don't. Hey, look, I got a buckler. Cool. Can I cast the door yet? Nope. <laughs> 239 points of damage of cold. Oh, yeah, I'm done. impressive trophy I don't care yeah I've got that on my calendar so if I am through with well I can't imagine that the guild warlock night's gonna go that late we usually end around seven sometimes eight but that's late for those guys because they're in the UK so it's like midnight or later and uh just depends on how I'm feeling. I might be able to run, make one run, but probably not more than that. I might have to go to bed.
Hey, Big Sugar. How's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Thanks for stopping by. All that stuff. Oh, yeah, this one. This one makes me wish I was a mate ranged monk. Without looking. Oh, skunk. I was not going to look. I was going to try to do that without looking, but I was late. T land. So the best advice we can give you for picking a server is to log on at the time you'd normally be playing, look at the group panel, and see how many groups there are available, or see if you can get in a guild that's on at that time, or something like that. Try different servers just to see, and that's going to give you your best indication of um, where you might want to find your home because for example I know in Thelanus there's a lot of Japanese players so Japanese time zones pretty hopping it's just something to consider while you're looking for server um, different guilds might be on at different times that sort of stuff so So yeah, just check out the different servers, just hop on and see what the groups look like, and uh, choose that way. I wouldn't get too set on your first characters, just get a feel for the game, get through the tutorial and the first couple quests, and then if you find you're getting some groups going, and or find a guild that's going to be active at that time, then go from there. That's my best advice I can give you. Obviously, I'm on Flawless. My main is here. Most of my characters here. Most of my time and money investment is here. But I also have characters on every server because sometimes I want to play with other people and uh, they play on different servers. Really nice web DC. Really helps with the Abishai. Yeah, I'm probably going to at least epic reincarnate everybody who's at 28 before the level cap gets raised. I can never get that last 50 some favor for Shah. I'll go ahead and at least epic, if not 
epic and heroic reincarnate Shaw, but I really want to get that last bit of favor first. It's just such a pain to get it. <laughs> it's stuff that nobody really wants to do because it's, they're pain, painful quests. Wow, I'm getting rocked by some trolls. Yay, plot. The only thing I'll say about favor farming is that you really don't need it right away. Um, it's a decent way to get used to playing and to familiarize yourself with different builds, but don't put too much heart in it. If you're playing with a buddy and you just you want to get main characters going, then just do that. DDO is a really flexible game. One of the biggest things is all, the character creation is really flexible. There's a whole bunch of combinations and just different things you can do with your characters. And builds and multi-classing and gearing and all that stuff so don't stress it just have fun playing and there's no right way to play despite what you'll read in the forums there's no right way to play I pretty much always played on Thelonis and that's it Oh, we have another Warlock. I might as well just sit back and relax. Hey! Dang. By the time I saw that, he was already banned. You know... Can uh, also watch us here on the official DDO stream channel. A lot of us stream on our own personal channels as well. So you can also get some ideas about the game and different perspectives and see different builds and how they play and all that stuff too. So, DDO has a pretty decent community going. Again, despite what's on the forums, there are actually friendly people. chests. And every quest has some sort of story to it. There are no random gen quests. Yeah, breakables are really iffy. For the most part, you'll be looking at chests for loot. Where even did that flashbang go? I didn't even see.
Oh, I thought we hit the thing. We didn't hit the thing yet. You got a plus four tone from a breakable and thunder. Nice. That's what we need. That message. <laughs> yeah, I mean, random is random, so there are chances to get really good things. The likelihood of it is very, very small. Do I have? Yeah, I've got tomes. Just short of a set of plus threes on here. Barbarian keeps dying. I'm not saying anything ne negative about it, I'm just commenting. Because Lord knows I've died enough in these in this series of quests already. Yeah, I, I've heard of people getting some really good stuff in the Breakables, but I haven't seen anything that good. Although, a guilty of mine has rolled two plus six tomes on daily dice. I have yet to roll something that nice. Well, gold roll, so weekly dice, but still. He's got an int, and I can't remember what the other one was. Of course, he was playing a wizard, so it was awesome. I end up getting rolling a hundred on my gold roll and getting a oh look you got a cake oh I don't care about a cake either someone res me I find a shrine or I recall I I don't care about a cake most of the time it might as well be useless that works. But you know, it's still free stuff. So I'm not complaining in that regard. It would just be nice to get something that I actually want out of the daily dice. It's more what I'm saying. Hello. keep running out of key. I almost never run out of key on my Light Monk. Why am I running out of key so fast on my Dark Monk? I don't get it. Must be gear or something. Yeah, I highly recommend Ida Wiki. Forums are good for builds and some other specific stuff, but 
you'll find a lot of attitude there. It's not very conducive to having fun while playing. Ha! Divine artillery. I have got, I'm not going to say it, but wow. Kaneth challenges. Thanks uh, all. High to the fallen. So yeah, I got something out of each one of those. I got a drop out of each one of those. That's awesome. For most stuff, I'd say wiki. Builds, I would still say the forms are good if you want to get build ideas and look up builds and stuff. Because there's a lot of different builds on there. But for everything else, the wiki is pretty much where you want to go. Uh, speaking of where I want to go... I really didn't even want any of the drops. That's the funny part. I got drops. I didn't really want them. But I don't, don't think my arty will mind getting into our divine artillery. I'm pretty sure my arty would love to have a divine artillery. Ah, let me move. Let me move. Thank you. So yeah, I got to level out of that in a bit, probably. Uh, rank 73, yeah. Buckler, the demonic soldier. Define artillery. Oh, yeah, my artie's gonna love that, I think. You know, I'm not, but I'm not great crossbow spec. That's the only problem with that. I'd have to... Hmm. Got the light unending, I got rock splitter, I got a bunch of drops today. I'm not counting Cotter's Week because I got three of those. Which is just ridiculous. And on that note, I think I might go ahead and Call it. Let's look. Hey, look. 1,300 total favor, 25 points. Hey, look. 1,200 total favor, 25 points. So I got over 100 favor as well. Not a bad run for, what, two hours? Two and a half hours? That's pretty good. And I even have some spot space in my shared bank. That's amazing. Wow. I have some space in my shared bank to actually put some of this stuff. Oh, no wonder I was running out of space. This is where I'm storing all my clickies. All right. Oh, coal chamber. Oof. Thrandal chain. Oh, there's some options. I, however, think I'm going to call it there for the evening. Do appreciate everybody hanging out. Enjoyed the interaction, everything as normal, always normal. Um, yeah, I'm on Tuesdays starting somewhere around 5 p.m. Eastern, depending on when I get out of work, get home, get the dog walk, get the animals fed, have my own dinner, and all that stuff. Um, what else? 
Um, damsels may or may not be on tonight. There's people on this channel a lot. This is C. Morgu. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Have fun. Hope your RNG is good and good night.